What's up, everybody? Spirit is here, and welcome back to Vampire. We're starting off quite loud. <laughs> so yeah, in the last episode, we had our first boss fight against Senor Bishop. He was some crazy ass motherfucker. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. And then we Worry no more, nurse met up again with Mister Doctor Hill, with Doctor Mister Hill. Oh, Doctor, what a night! We lost two more oh, patients. No. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. That bitch. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mister Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Well, doctor. he needs a good wank. Because he's a oh, wanker. Dorothy. Yes, Doctor? Doctor Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent. Yes, yes. And one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good <laughs> news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, blood yes. transfusions. A good one. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. You're coming, Nurse Crane. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. Now, keep coming. So, it's a nice boat. Can we use the boat again? It's like a fucking expensive boat, man. Look at that boat, man. It's really damn expensive. And even like in, even if we have like a boat like that today, it's like expensive shit, man. Any blood around here? A lot. Ooh, three thousand. Excellent blood quality. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are even the pillar of this thing. Okay. Okay, you're the pillar of the ducks. Huh. That's interesting. That was so very, very interesting. Why is she a noon? We need to talk to her. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. So I, I want to talk to her. To Mrs. Oh, fucking hell. Fine. <clears throat> How am I supposed to enter the Pembroke Hospital if they're blocking? On, fucking. What's going on here? Nah, no, 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 that's not nice, people. Rotten or crazy, each heart contains the spirit of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Hello. <laughs> Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bother. But I will. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Insulting a good Samaritan. Yes. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, I am. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. <laughs> Wait, am I supposed to kill him now? Okay, the blood quality indicates how much experience you will obtain from a particular, peculiar, not particular, peculiar citizens. Um, the higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Now, to drink blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them and lead them out of sight of others. Your mesmerize level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Mesmerize clay. But what if I don't want to mesmerize him now? Or what if I don't want to suck him? Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Embrace. Embrace the cocks. Yes. 
or release him. Embracing Clay will provide massive XP boost, but be aware there will be consequences. Learning more about the citizens will allow you to gather. Hmm. I'm thinking, guys. Oh, so embracing, you need to. Oh no. shit! Embracing, you need to keep pressing, but releasing is done immediately. Okay, good to know. Oh, not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Well, I will. Did I black out? What? What? I can mesmerize you now. That was mesmerizing him. What the hell? Um. Okay. Details. Level one, Coxie. No relationships. Well, there wouldn't really much of a thing to do. We could kill him. No problem. So how can I eat him now again? Like, I don't know. Being a vampire, it always sounds a bit more sexual now. I'm gonna suck you. I'm gonna eat you. I'm gonna fuck you. It's like... It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go, but no famished hunter can run for long. Oh, I can run, bitch. I can run. Hmm. Okay. No, I, I, but what if I want to eat him now? Did I black out? I can't eat him now. Totally weird shit. Weird, 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 weird shit. I want to equip that one. Why can I not equip the pistol? Is it in the main hand? No. A bludgeon. It's a used bludgeon. Anakip. Please, Anakip. I want to Anakip that one. Alright. Yeah, the used one is still broken. No, it's not broken. It works. Huh. All right. Okay. Good to know. Coxie. Oh, hello, sexy. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff oh, members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I have all the time in the world, so. man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Well, apparently it's also Pembroke spirit to what bitch around, you bitch. Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. No, well, quick. that was quick with a name. Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Goodies. I would like to ask a few questions first. <coughs> yes, please. I have a question, like, uh, where the, where's my room again? If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Didn't you say it already? Second floor of the hospital, left after the... Okay. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How yes, I would like to suck him. I gave him a sedative <laughs> to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. It's not gay if you're a vampire, I guess. What Maybe kind it is. Of man is Dr. Swansea? It's like, is it gay? Well, you accepted the job. If you if you if you, you suck the blood of, a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of another man, if you're a man, would that be gay? I have to, have to say. Um, I've only just met him. He knows me more than I know him. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. 
This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Great. So, fuck you. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Due to the influence, this hospital can no longer take any patients. Hospital full, so please piss off. I please, I piss off. Like there's a lot of tents around here, but there's nobody in the tents around here. Like what the point of the tents around here? There's no tents around here. Oh yeah, you're yeah, sure. Just standing out here taking a smoke. Good evening, nurse. Good evening, doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. Oh, Pippa. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Pippa. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this Poopy. hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Poopy's Swansea. Ah. Oh. I can't mesmerize her because I'm level one and she's level three. Okay. Ah, would you look at that? Ah. Ah. Okay. So, okay. Now we get like. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Hmm. Interesting. How would you describe the situation at the Pembroke Hospital? It's serious. The flu is wreaking havoc amongst the staff and patients. We are running out of everything. Get a grip, bitch. You must get a hold of yourself, nurse. Hmm. <sighs> Sorry. I'm exhausted. No one has any idea when this epidemic will be over. Is there somebody hidden there in the tent? Nurse Hawkins, the Spanish... Pippa Hawkins. Huh. Flu won't last forever. Even the Black Plague didn't kill everyone. I wish I could believe you. But what if this epidemic was worse? What if in the end, nobody was spared? Well, that would suck, wouldn't it? How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change I am overqualified, bitch. You'd be surprised how awesome I am. You'd be surprised what dedication can achieve, Nurse Hawkins. In medicine, sometimes we're just a test result away from a miracle. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter. But I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Hint required. Hmm. How is the Pembroke staff coping? I wonder how we get the hints and shit. Not well, well Milton, by talking to other people and by finding some people, shit. Especially concerning doctors. Why does Milton dislike doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Uh, isn't that like a hint? He doesn't Why like. Why is Milton grumpy? Yeah, he's a grumpy on a bitch. Basis. Is it just an act? Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation. Oh, now we have an actual suit now. It or not. When did we change? Ah, yeah, there you go. We'll get a hint. Social circle. Well, we can kill them both, and then that's fine. Thank you, Nurse and McNurse Face. Hmm. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Wait. Where's the other guy? Fuck, there was another guy over here. Fucking hell. What do we have here? Influenza. Stay at home. Hmm. Where am I? Where am I walking? Okay, that's the hospital. Dogs. The dogs. Hmm, Whitechapel Hospital, Docks. Western Docks. Doggy Docks, North Docks, West End. Whitechapel. Hmm. Okay. Is that the video? No. Okay, this is probably like chapter one. Ah, yeah, chapter one. There it says. It says chapter one. It's quite healthy around here. Quite bad over here. Local investigations. There's investigations. So we're doctor and vampire and 
detector. Huh. Interesting. Ultimate. Yeah, baby. Huh. Okay. Well, we're not gonna get over here. We're gonna like stay um, on track at the moment. Well, apparently there's a lot of talking required in the game here. That seems to be the case. Why can I not eat you? I would like to suck on you and on you. And then say, oh, we lost another one. Oh, so, so sad. Good evening, sir. Who the fuck are you? So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has... Apparently I'm famous. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we well, my sister is dead, so that's even better news, Actually, I guess. Yes. We met once before <laughs> at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Yes, vampire and, and all. Surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. <laughs> I'm a specialist, all right. I'm a specialist, all right. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, doctor? Come on, don't be ridiculous, dear colleague. I am. I'm gonna kill you eventually, dear colleague. Hmm. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please speak. So yeah, you need to talk a lot to people here, this apparently. Exactly then hope for the best. best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. Yeah, well, I've been. It's the same everywhere. People are more important. No, I didn't have much of a choice so far. I can't say I'm thrilled to be working here, but to be honest, I didn't have much of a choice. Don't be misled by appearances, Doctor Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. Oh no. What is this hot I can't own be Wait, what? What is hospital? I can't say I'm thrilled. Don't hmm, so it's not set to my choice. I can't go back and what, can take you another choice. Okay, okay that's interesting. Hospital. Some are really good and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. Mm -hmm. I prefer to focus on the positive Sure, positive. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful... And you want to fuck her. You really seem to admire her skills. Yes, she does. She's overqualified as a nurse. Sure. But she's perfectly qualified to suck his dick, I guess. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. You wish he was, she was a man, eh? <laughs> Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. Well, he was out of his office when he was having us. Pretty much so. But we already have a hint. Hint required, hint required. Hmm. Alright. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. And we don't have enough hints. Okay. Mm, okay. Coxie is still down there. Nobody's helping him out. Okay. Fuck. Coxie. Where the fuck am I? Where am I going? Oh, okay, I'm uh, walking around here like an idiot. Okay, um, the map is actually bigger than I thought, but then again, okay, we'll, we'll have to see how it will be in the end. Always look at everything. Hmm. Well, nothing over here. Too sad, too bad. That lighting looked actually quite good right now. Because the graphics in the game, yeah. Average, but sometimes also a bit ugly. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. It's doable, that's okay. I'm new but. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, 
the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt there you introduction, go. Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh. Well, I'd like to let's see trade. Your Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Isn't it? I can buy a Milton shotgun for too much money, okay? But why would I buy bullets? I can refill them whenever I want. Come and trigger parts. I bought it. I can sell some things. But I don't want to sell anything. So. Milton. Good evening, Milton. Milton. Good evening, Doc. Shut up. Your mediocre reputation. Huh. No, no, let's first let's make friends with him. How is the situation yes. around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. <laughs> we lack everything and it's getting worse every day. Oh, it's too bad. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. You don't suck at it. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Oh, no! It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden, but I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want. I will. But be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Don't you worry. I'll find him and then kill him. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. And to kill others, so that's good. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. <laughs> Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. But then I remember, always look on the bright side of life. Do you need any medical help, Milton? I'm fine, Doc. Physically, at least. But I would give everything to be in a better place right now. Oh. You will, my friend. Eventually, you will. Goodbye, Milton. Now, Dr. Tippets, what are you doing down here? Oh. Hello, a glass vial. One old hag over here. She's inside. Okie dokie, let's go inside. <clears throat> City, you. Sure. Thank you. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Yes, apparently so. This place is perfect. Hmm. All right. Hmm. All right, sorry. I was just uh, distracted. Uh, 
What else can we do around here? Oh, the nurses. In the name of mercy, they depend on you. Nurses are needed right now. Nobody cares. Hello, crazy sucking woman. Good evening, miss. She's I'm a crazy bitch, right? The new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon. What She's are you a begging friend? for, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. <laughs> Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Yes, you know. Do you require my services, Miss Howcroft? I have no need for your medicine, Dr. Reed. Blood is the only drug I Well, I got some blood down my penis, so maybe you should try that one. I mean, it could work, you know? And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Cool. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Yes. Oh, sad and petty mortal. So, um, Cotard Syndrome believes she's a vampire. So what's the point? Just more, more, more blood quality. Well, like, we could suck her. Really, really good. She has one somebody in the so so she'll she'll sure to check it, but who gives a damn? You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Yes, that is exactly what I think. Uh so I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I that's right? I think a good Don't assumption. <laughs> I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Cool. Who are your enemies? Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near oh, the no. Oak. Oh no. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. But then again, woman, this is like, um, isn't it like a bad idea to scream around that you're a fucking vampire? Just, just, you know, as, wouldn't it be like smart? Eh, well, I guess he's stupid. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's mind. Oh, of course. You poor, poor woman. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. <laughs> yes. Prevent disease. Don't carve and call it in public. Sure. All right, you know what? Uh, it's in the second floor, so it's like British second floor, so it's like in here. Or is it like this? Or no, no. Do they have like a ground floor? No. 
This is this my office. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Good. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Good. Good. Article on Econs. Holy schmutz. Um, yeah, you know what? If you want to read it, read it right now um, about the first and the second. Uh, press pause. And now we're going to go down to Mesmerism. And now Blood Awareness. I'm going to read that on my own time now. And then we're going to talk about it. Okay, so, well, this is all about what vampires can do, that they're really fucking fast. Mesmerism, what we do that, and Blood Awareness. Well, we do all that already, all the time. Um, now, in the article it says, like, when we're dodging, I can't do that, but if we're doing that in a fight, um, we're not really, like, tra teleporting somewhere, but we're just moving really, really fast. Too fast for the human eye. So what do we have here? Well, I think we can upgrade at least one of you. Like you, I think. Shit. Or you. Shit. Good trigger party. Huh. <clears throat> All right. Can't go over here. Can't go there. Now, if I have a night shift, I um, shouldn't I be working at night. But all I'm doing at night is, you know, sleeping and uh, killing people and talking to people. Right. All right, I guess. So, um, I think there was also with mesmerizing, me, 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 mesmerizing, defensive, coagulation. Mm. Hmm. Blood, thirst, big thirst, what? Huh, okay. It's all kind of science. Uh huh. I like the blood barrier, man. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Um,. I wonder what, how you can do that blood barrier. It's like a special, no, special are, uh, where are the specials? Ultimates, oh yeah, there's ultimate. Spring. Cost is none. Hmm. <laughs> I like the I like the blood barrier. It sounds awesome. Vampires are afraid of suffering damage. Are familiar with hardness ability. This blood ability will protect the vampire from direct damage. Unfortunately, it does not stop from being grabbed by enemies. Hmm. Why would they need that one? Uh, the vampire will concentrate on a prey's blood, stopping them, effects making them defenseless. It's easier to kill if they can't move. That's for sure. Hmm. So now that we have that one. Nope. Damn it. Confirm. Yes, yes. The following night. Ah. Well, the loading screen was actually quite short. So. Um, no, that's not what I wanted to look at. Uh, I wanted to look at over here. So we have now the... Act ah. Skill 4. So you can put on up to four different skills. That's good to know. And one ultimate skill. Okay. So that's about that. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get a bigger, higher mesmerized level yet but we're gonna find out in the future guys thank you very much for watching it's been a pleasure to i'll be in here in our new place what's that what's that yeah all right 
And in the next episode, well, we're going to keep on talking to the people of this hospital. See you next episode. Bye.